All right, let's talk about a couple other things. Uh, Jake Paul fight is canceled. What happened here? Vic, you shine some light on this? I did not even know this happened until you sent it in the notes. I was not paying attention. Well, this, there was a debate regarding the weight because they had a clause in there that, uh, that what's-his-name had a fight at a relatively low weight. I believe it was um, around it was, uh, 200 pounds, of course. It was 200, then- it was 200 pounds. Um, I think he usually fights around 220, and they uh, insisted that he fight at 200. He wasn't uh, losing the weight. They agreed to go up to 205, and then I guess the athletic commission. It was something like they called, you know, they they check in on your weight to make sure that you're cutting it the right way, and I guess they, they, you know, he, uh, he checked in with the commission, and he was like 216 pounds, and he had to, and, and so it was only a couple weeks out, and that, so they, they negotiated to move it up to 205. And then the next week they checked in with him and he was 215 pounds. He only lost one pound. I, I mean, and I feel like it still this, seems kind of crazy to me. This far out, look, dude, I don't want to call conspiracy here, but I'll tell you right now, like, I, you know, I, I, I'm personally in the process of trying to lose weight. I'm not a professional athlete, I'm not somebody who cuts weight naturally. If I needed to lose. 10 pounds. Maybe, I might have the numbers off. Maybe double check me on that, but I believe that is what I read. No, you're, you're 100% numbers. correct. You're 100% correct. And, and the thing that happened was Rahman, what people think is he was 230. And then he, when he weighed in or when he sent that video into the commission, he just put on a sweatsuit and ran, ran, ran and cut off a bunch of water weight and then ballooned back up to 216 after that, or 215 after that. And then that's when the commission was like, oh, he has, he's, he's losing an insane amount of weight in a, in a really unsafe amount of time, and that's why they called the bout. Okay, so essentially he weighed in at 215, but he was actually just cutting weight because he was trying to show off for the, the commission that he was losing the weight, but he actually wasn't 215, he was 230. Yeah, he so just lost it right. in an insane amount, like a, in a very small span of time. But that's not crazy. I mean, do people cut 15 pounds? Dude, you, you, this is not, you know. No, but the thing profess- is, the thing that adds a, a, a little interesting asterisk yeah. into this is that they had a rehydration clause yeah. in the fight. So they had a clause about what he could weigh on, on the fight night. Now, that is crazy. That's crazy if they're asking you to cut all of this fucking weight and then you're not allowed to rehydrate yourself to get back to like what your normal weight is. Because then well, you're was, like. that was kind of shitty. And this is why, you know, Jake Paul's team, they were trying to put a bunch of barriers in the way for yeah, the yeah. to be able to compete. Um, and yeah, I, you know, it is what it is. But he agreed to it. I have no problem. If somebody agrees to it, you sign the fucking contract, sign on the dotted line, you agree to rehydration clause, it is what it is. Um, if he was 230 and we're five days out from the fight, he wasn't getting down to 205 pounds in a healthy way. That's great. That's a, that's a wild amount of weight. The speculation and Dana White kind of weighed in on this is that this fight would have ended up happening if the ticket sales weren't so crappy. The tickets were not selling. People were not that interested in this fight. I can believe that. It was at the garden, right? Yes, yeah. and uh, Dana's comment was that it ke- it cost five hundred thousand dollars just to keep the lights on at the garden. Everybody knows the garden is a very expensive place to run. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. I mean, look, you got to think if the fucking if it co- if that's true, right? And it costs five hundred thousand dollars just to keep the garden open, and then you got to think of all the additional expenses that the fight you know entails. You really you got to make some sales. Yeah, to make that fucking sense. worthwhile. And look, I don't know. Jake Paul's audience, um, I don't know how many pay-per-views are buying. I don't know how much money they're spending on tickets to be there in person. I don't know. These are young people who don't have a lot of money. I was thinking about this the other day. It's very funny because like our generation, like the, you know, we're 40, right? The 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 we're right, uh, I guess right on the edge of being millennials. I'm 39. But our generation, dude, they're really pumping the nostalgia shit with us, right? They're really, because we have money now. We're, our generation is that we now, for the first time, we're buying homes and we're fucking, you know, we're, we're, we're buying, you know, we're, we're owning businesses. And it's like, well, you get it to 35, 40 years old. We're adults at this point and we can afford to go spend money on concert tickets. I think younger people don't have a lot of expendable income. I think the way that they get their entertainment is sitting on their cell phones and they watch shit on their phone and they, they're not really paying for things that way. They have their streaming services that their moms and their dads pay for, but they're not paying for Netflix or HBO Max or any of this other stuff. So it's interesting because I think Jake Paul's audience is very young. And I don't think they have a lot of expendable income. Yeah, I, I think, also think I think there's something to that. 
I was gonna say, I also think a lot of the guys that I've talked not to cut in, but a lot of the guys I've I've talked to, they kind of feel like everything Jake Paul does in his boxing career is like set up or staged. So with every fight that he fights, people are kind of like, eh, you know, Jake Paul is going to win this way anyways. And then he's going to get another fake challenge. That's kind of the general gist amongst the community. That's why people probably aren't paying for tickets. I love that you were talking about zoomers and Coop just went, I, I got this here. Okay. So here's what's going on in the 19 year old community. Okay. Word on the street. Oh, I think, I think you're all kind of right about that. And it, this is, uh, a it's an interesting thing when the people look there's there's the people who have money are not really who Jake Paul's target demo is like that that's not who his audience really is and those people tend to look at this as kind of a gimmick yeah. and the younger people who might even some of them like Coop said might be a little bit skeptical about like how you know on the level some of this shit is i think they're just uh <clears throat> you know, probably unlikely to purchase an expensive ticket and go to Madison Square Garden. And Lewis, you've made this point before, but they're also the most tech savvy at how to yeah. get an illegal stream of this shit. So, you like, get a you know, crack stream. Know. it's very easy. There's all these young people, none of them are paying for it. They all know what's up. Um, and, and, you know, and to be honest with you, what's funny is this is the first fight that like real boxing enthusiasts started getting excited about. They were going, oh shit, Rockman Jr. has hands. He's, you know, his father's a, a very accredited boxer. He's been boxing his entire life. This is, he's a heavyweight. Is it, Jake Paul's finally fighting a guy who's bigger than him. He's not like, you know, picking on a guy who's smaller than him who doesn't actually have boxing experience. Um, this was, from the boxing purist perspective, this was a really interesting fight. And because of that, I started getting very, very interested in this fight. I was very excited to see this fight, actually. And I'm very bummed out that this, this isn't this happening would right have, now. This would have this told was a big us test a lot. For Jake Paul. This would have told us a lot about, you know, what the level is. Because it's, it's very hard to gauge, you know? Like, it's, this oh. is true in, in fighting in general. It's very hard to gauge when you're not an expert and in somebody's camp and really seeing what they can do. You see him like fucking starch Nate Robinson. And then you go, okay, so like, you know, I don't know. In the world of we're all going to, like, our friends are all going to put some boxing gloves on and go box in the backyard. He's really good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, yeah. what does that mean? And then you see him like beat Ben Askren. And you're like, okay, well. He's got power. Well, that, yeah, that okay. fight said, all right, you know what, dude? Ben Askren's been in there with little gloves with guys who really know how to strike and he's been and, in, and he's, been able to have not get been knocked a former out champion. a lot. I was like, he got knocked out by uh, at the very least, call it what it is. Ben Askren doesn't have any hands. He stood there and let him punch him. At the very least, Jake Paul has knockout power. He can actually knock yes. you out. That's not a fluke. Then you got a guy like Tyrone Woodley who he beats by decision and then knocks out and you're going like, oh, okay, well, here's a guy who's knocked people out a lot in MMA, you know? And like, okay, so that kind of says something, but you're still like, so, okay, he's way better than we thought he was initially, you know? And you also see things like, if you know boxing a little bit, you'd be like, oh, he's doing some things. Like he looks like a, a fucking boxer. Like he's doing good things. His footwork is good. His hands are good. Like his, you know, but you're still like have this huge area of like, where does this dude really fall? Well, this thing where, where this you're not a told us a lot. When you're guys like you or I, who don't really know boxing that well, it's still like, you're like, yeah, he looks pretty good there. I don't know, dude. <laughs> like, what am I what am I missing here? He's fucking knocking people out. He's he's doing the thing. He's you know doing that thing, going back yeah. and forth. You know, but then you you have this, and you know, the way that actual boxing experts talk about it, you go like this is a real test. And I was at what I was impressed with Jake Paul was I was like, well, no, he seems to want the real test. Yeah. He seems to want the respect. He seems to want to, and he also he has a ton of confidence. I, I think he believes it when he said he's going to beat these guys, right? And I think in the fact that Rockman's been his former sparring partner, he knows how he fights to a certain degree. There was something to that, right? And this was a huge step up in competition. And I appreciate Jake willing to sort of take those chances. He's coming along the way that you're supposed to come along as a boxer. Right. So these boxers that, 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 we, that you hear about, when you hear about a guy who's 22 and 0, 17 and 0, 18 and 0, those first five fights, 10 fights, they're absolute fucking bums. They pad their records. Yeah, these are guys who can't right. fight for shit, dude. These are not, these aren't world champion MMA fighters. These are guys that like literally can't box for shit, dude. They're just trying to get their, their reps in. And, um, you know, I feel like Jake, he gets a lot of people shit on him a lot. But I don't think if you really looked at who he's fighting for his first few fights compared to the average champion, right? The average champion in boxing who, who they fought for their first few fights, 
I think you would see that Jake's probably fighting a higher level of opponent, in my opinion. I don't, I'm not and 100% no positive question, about that. But no, these guys, I, I, they're not true bums. They're, like, they're Nate, were, Nate right. Robinson, true bum. Like, obviously, it's not yeah. like a fighter. Even I'll give you Ben Askren as a true bum b- in boxing. boxing. But that's only two. And lots of boxers do that. And the other thing is that he's fighting them under, like, the brightest spotlights, yeah. which is very different. You don't see anyone ever doing that. So there's there, and that's that's really well, not without that, something. That thrive in it. You mentioned this about Conor McGregor, and I think Jake does have that uh, that that quality to him, right? I think the lights are on, and there's that many people there. I think he gets into it more, right? Whereas yes. I think some people would shut down. Some people, you know, I I, I, I think if you're there, I, I don't even know. If no, dude, there's down something. The pressure, look, there's something. Yeah, the, there's there's something to be said for that dude. Like, and there's, there's the same thing, like in kind of like stand up comedy or something like that. Like there might be guys like, you know, um, who, who are at the same level in comedy or, or at the same skill level in comedy who have been doing it for the same amount of time. But one of them is like playing huge theaters and the other one's playing little clubs. And like, if you put them both in a huge theater tomorrow, the guy who regularly plays huge theaters has a huge advantage. Oh, like, massive like advantage, you know, of because like they're used to that. You got to like adjust to this new like environment. And that guy's been doing this forever. And ultimately, if you go to the top, um, you're talking about being in that environment. So it's a huge advantage to have started in that environment. You know what I mean? Like there's, there really is something to that. Anyway, we'll see what's next for him. I guess this is a punt. For what happens next with Jake Paul, we'll see. We'll see what they we'll set up next. I, I have no idea. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited to watch what happened. Yo.